Hi there. Welcome to MCSI. My name is Emma. In this video, I will introduce you to the top Windows forensics tools you must know about. Windows operating system has been widely used for many years now. During a forensic investigation, it is highly likely that you will be called to acquire and process evidence from a Windows computer. Being able to perform Windows forensics is an extremely important skill for a digital forensic professional. Once you are aware of the various forensic artifacts on a Windows computer, the next step is to identify tools to acquire them and process them. If you need a refresher on the top forensic artifacts that you would find on a Windows computer, take a look at another video where I provide a brief description about each artifact. You will find the link to that video in the description box below. Depending on the nature of the investigation, the artifacts that you would acquire would vary. I would like to highlight that the tools I introduced to you in this video are relevant at the time this video was created. It is possible that the tools may not be valid in the future. I suggest that you keep yourself updated about the tools available and test them out in your home lab, so you can be ready to assist in investigations. Now, let's get started. A number of tools are available to acquire and analyze the memory dumped from a Windows computer. Tools like Dumpit and FTK Imager can assist with memory acquisition. Tools like Volatility and Redline can assist with memory analysis. We have another video where we explore more tool options to perform Windows memory forensics. You will find the link to that video in the description box below. Next, I will tell you about some tool suites that assist with Windows forensics. The SysInternal suite was developed by Microsoft to assist with system troubleshooting. However, some tools come in handy in digital forensics too. System Monitor, known as SysMon for short, is a tool that records information about every activity on the system, like process creation, network connection changes, file creation and updation, etc. This tool when installed, helps to assess activity on a Windows computer related to an incident. Another tool in the SysInternal suite is Process Monitor, also known as Procmon, that helps track the complete activity of a process. Other tools in the SysInternal suite that assist in Windows Forensics are Strings, TCP View, Proc Dump, Logon Sessions, Auto Runs, etc. Eric Zimmerman is a digital forensic professional who has designed numerous tools to analyze Windows forensic artifacts like event logs, prefetch files, registry hives, etc. You can download the tools from Zimmerman's GitHub page. Use them to practice acquiring and analyzing Windows forensic artifacts. When you go after specific Windows forensic artifacts, the tools we just discussed will be useful. What about when you want to acquire all possible evidence from a Windows computer, in one go? Redline is a tool that can collect a lot of forensics artifacts like active process listing, user account information, system restore points, networking information, and much more, in one go. You can configure Redline to collect as much evidence as you require. Redline also offers capabilities to analyze the acquired evidence. You can run Redline locally or on a remote machine that you do not have access to. Now you know about the tools that can acquire individual forensic artifacts and a utility that can acquire multiple artifacts in one go, locally or remotely. Let's assume an entire computer network has been affected by an incident. There are 50 computers on that network. You want to acquire evidence from all the 50 computers. Is that possible? Yes. Google Rapid Response is a framework designed for exactly this purpose. You can acquire all possible evidence from 50 computers, or you can acquire only specific evidence like event logs from 50 machines. Then you can analyze the acquired evidence. Velociraptor is another tool like Google Rapid Response that you can utilize to acquire evidence from multiple computers across a network. I hope you have a good idea now about the various tools available to help you perform Windows Digital Forensics. Are you excited to practice using these tools in your home lab? That will be an excellent idea. We have another video that walks you through setting up a lab at home to practice Windows Forensics. 
you will find the link to that video in the description box below. If you want a structured learning plan to learn Windows Digital Forensics using the tools we discussed, I invite you to enroll in MCSI's Certified Digital Forensics and Incident Response Specialist Curriculum. You will learn a great deal of practical digital forensic skills to help you land your first job. You can even find some sample exercises on our website. The link to this page is provided in the description box below. If you liked this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to MCSI YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon!